Good morning. Last week we started talking about responsibility. Responsibility is showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. When you're young, you have to be responsible at home and at school. As you get older, you get more and more responsibilities. That's why it's important to learn how to be trusted with what's expected of you now so you can be responsible with even more when you're older. I've got an amazing story for you today. It's actually a story that Jesus told, and it shows us another really important way that we can show responsibility. While Jesus was on earth, crowds followed him everywhere he went. Some followed Jesus to hear his teaching. Others came hoping he would heal their sicknesses, and others followed Jesus just to keep an eye on him. One day, a man in the crowd spoke up. Teacher, he said, tell my brother to divide my family property with me. This man wanted more for himself, and he figured Jesus could help him get it. But Jesus said this, friend, who made me a judge or umpire between you? Then he said to them, watch out. Be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. To make sure the man and the crowd of people really understood what he meant, Jesus then told him a story. There was a rich man who grew grain. We use grain to make things like cereal, bread, pasta, tortillas. And one year, this man's land grew a lot of grain. I'm talking more grain than you've ever seen in your life. The rich man didn't do anything different to make his land grow more grain. God provided the sun and the water, and God made the grain grow. See, God blessed the rich man with great harvests. Then the rich man thought to himself, Self? What should I do? I don't have any place to store my crops. God had given the rich man so much that he didn't have enough space for it all. This gave the rich man an idea. He said, Self, this is what I'll do. I will tear down my barns and build bigger ones. I will store my extra grain in them. The rich man planned to keep all his extra grain in barns and have enough for himself for years to come. He wouldn't have to work anymore. Then he could say to himself, Self, take life easy. Eat, drink, and have a good time. Whoa, pause. Let's freeze the scene right here. The rich man had a plan for a very easy life. He figured he'd have everything he ever needed. But was he being responsible with all that extra food that God had given him? What if there were people living nearby who didn't have enough food to eat? How do you think they might feel about it? Let's see what God had to say about it. Let's unpause our scene and find out. But God said to him, you foolish man, tonight I will take your life away from you. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? That is how it will be for whoever stores things away for themselves, but is not rich in the sight of God. Um, are you sure that's what it says? I know, that's tough. But think about it. God had given the rich man an amazing gift. He had given the man way more than he needed. But the rich man didn't think about how he could use that extra food to help others. Instead, he was greedy and kept it all to himself. Because of his decision, the rich man died, and he couldn't enjoy the gift God gave him. That's how Jesus ended the story. What a sad ending, right? I wonder if things could have been better for the rich man if he had just made a more responsible decision. This part isn't in the Bible, but I wonder what it might have looked like if the man had chosen to use his stuff differently. What if he thought to himself, Self, this is what I'll do. I'll throw a huge picnic and invite all of my friends. I just love to share all of this with all of them. Pause. That's a much better ending, don't you think? If the rich man had made the wise choice to share what he had, he could have helped others instead of only thinking about himself. In Jesus' story, the rich man had more than he needed. He had enough food to fill up his barns, and he even had the money to build new, bigger barns to store more for later. But to God, this man wasn't rich at all. To be rich in God's eyes, a person must treat others the way they want to be treated and put the needs of others before their own. They must be generous with what they have and share it with the other people. We don't know what happened with the man who first asked Jesus to help him. 
we don't know how he reacted after he heard Jesus' story. Maybe he stopped worrying about getting more of his family stuff. Maybe he thought more about sharing what he did have with his brother. But we can learn from what Jesus taught that day. We can choose to be generous with the things God has given us, and we have a responsibility to share God's gifts with others. Remember, share what you have. Let's pray and ask God to help us do that. God, you are so good and generous. You provide the things we need every day. Please help us to be responsible and share your gifts with others. We don't want to be greedy like the rich man in Jesus' story. Instead, we want to share what we have with our family, friends, and neighbors. Please give us the courage to share instead of only wanting more for ourselves. We love you and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Everything we have comes from God. From the food we eat, to the places we live, to the stuff we own, to the people we love, all is a gift from Him. And Jesus' story was very clear. He told us to be generous with what God has given us. Now, of course, Jesus gave us the perfect example of generosity. He gave His life freely so we could be forgiven. Because of Jesus, God gives us grace and forgives us when we make bad choices. When we understand what God did for us, we should want to be generous to others. We should be willing to share. That's another great rule for life. Share what you have. We have a responsibility to share with others and put their needs above our own. And let's be honest, that's not always easy. It can be hard to share your favorite video game or your favorite type of pizza, especially when there's only one piece left. It can be difficult for me to share my treats, like the candy and stuff. But when we remember what Jesus did for us and just how generous he is, it's easier to let go and share what we have. Our memory verse is something Jesus told his disciples, which we can find in Luke 16, verse 10. Jesus said this, Suppose you can be trusted with something very little. Then you can also be trusted with something very large. As we go about our day, let's talk about what God has given us and how we can share it with the people around us. We'll see you next time.